Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. I'm going to be talking about if I could only keep five makeup products. Oh, this video is going to be a little bit challenging. So Emily Noel started this and I had it on my list to do. Then I saw Kelly Gooch do it as well and uh, I will have their videos linked down below of course. And I just thought it was such a fun idea. I just love Emily Noel for just continually coming up with creative video ideas. She inspires me so much to always keep thinking, always keep thinking like what else could we chat about over here? Um, she's just is so fantastic. So when I saw, <laughs> I saw the thumbnail come out for this video and I saw it on Twitter and I was like, girl, girl, what are you making us do? So I'm really excited to chat about if I could only keep five makeup products. So why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, so I do wanna say, Emily did her video as like a like a try-on with the five products that she chose. Um, Kelly, who I've also watched, like I mentioned, who's also fabulous and comes up with great ideas for sure, uh, she, she did it more talking style. As I was thinking about this video and as I was making my list for it, I decided I'm gonna do two different lists <laughs> and just, just hear me out. I thought it would be fun to do like a really cutthroat, like five individual products right that's what i'm going to do first but then i thought let's get a little bit creative let's look through my uh, makeup collection and what are some like multi-use palettes that have you know more than just one item in there and how could i really stretch it that way so i thought it would be fun to show both hopefully you like this idea i'm kind of just putting my own like little spin on it if you will but uh, i thought it would be fun to kind of explain my reasoning for each of the two different lists that I'm gonna do. I don't know, hopefully you guys like it. But jumping into the first list, so this is like my five individual products. There's no like big palettes in here, just five individual products if I could keep them because I wanted to show you like what I'm really into right now, what I really want to like have on my face in an everyday type of makeup situation if I could only keep these five products. So uh, primer was a no-go for me. Um, Kelly did the, if you, uh, not the only, if you could only keep one. She's done if you could only keep one, which is great. Uh, but she did the would you rather tag. And one of the questions was primer versus setting spray. And I was like, I would choose setting spray because primers, I feel like I can get some of the benefits of a primer in my skincare as well. So primer was a no. And actually foundation was a no either. Uh, one of the questions in that video too was, uh, would you rather wear the wrong foundation shade or no foundation at all? And I said no foundation at all because some days I don't even wear foundation uh, so no foundation in here but definitely I wanted to include a concealer I wear concealer pretty much every single day uh, like unless I'm just like sitting in my house the entire day then I don't care um, but if I'm just like running out running errands you know things like that I tend to enjoy some concealer. I tend to get um, like darkness on my under eyes. I don't sleep very well. Uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. Uh, so I tend to have like darkness on my under eyes and I just feel like concealer really helps like brighten up your complexion and make you look more awake. You can also use concealer as a foundation. You can use concealer obviously to cover, you know, like acne blemishes and things like that. Uh, so definitely I had to choose a concealer and let's say it together. The Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. We all knew this was coming. Uh, but I chose this because I do wear this as a foundation sometimes. Like I'll just go a little bit heavier and really blend it all over my entire face for like a nice lighter coverage foundation. Uh, it's a great concealer. It's nice and full coverage on the under eyes. Uh, it just looks great. It's one of those products that just never lets me down. And I absolutely love my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. So that is the first out of five that I would choose. I did not choose a setting powder because I have very dry skin. Uh, if you can tell today, if you're like really looking up close at your computer screen, like my entire face is peeling off. I am so dry right now. My eyelids are dry, my nose is dry, my chin is dry, everything is dry on me right now. I'm just going through one of those phases. Uh, and so that's not fun because I like, I can literally, if I even like scratch my eyelid, dry skin falls off. It's really disgusting. So I do not need a powder. Um, I can definitely understand if you have oily skin, you probably would want a powder maybe. I don't know for sure. But for me, that was really simple for me to say like, nope, I don't need a powder. Uh, but the next product that I put on my list, I had to go with a bronzer. I love bronzing. It's one of my favorite steps in my makeup routine and I feel like it just really helps to start pull me together. And especially when it comes to just putting concealer on, I feel like when I just have my concealer on, things look a little bit crazy and then when you start adding like some warmth back into the skin, a little bit of bronze, like you start to look a little, I start to look a little bit more like myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? I, I have to have a bronzer. And again, this first list, I'm kind of going off of 
um, you know, if I'm just having like a casual day and just like running about, uh, so kind of what I'm thinking of, um, we've been traveling a little bit the last few weekends. We've had some weddings. We've been out of town with friends, out of town with friends. And this is like the next day makeup. Like Saturday night, we've gone out, da da da. It was great. Sunday morning, like maybe we're having breakfast together. We're driving back somewhere together. This is the face that I'm doing, minus a few steps, of course, but this is like the face that I want to do. And I had to include my bronzer. I decided to go with the Marc Jacobs Omega Tantastic Bronzer. I just did a video recently ranking all of my bronzers and this big daddy got a lot of love from me. Uh, but I think that it's a beautiful bronzer. It's super natural on the skin. I can use this a bunch and build it up and it's not going to look too overdone on me. It just looks so nice and natural. I also love the big mirror which I think is a plus uh, because I only have one other product that has a smaller mirror in here so this is great. If I'm only keeping five products I really like the mirror in here. You can also use a bronzer as an eyeshadow. You know I could use this as a crease color um, underneath my lashes that sort of thing. So bronzer is also really nice uh, to pull a double duty there and use it as an eyeshadow. So I did want to include my bronzer product number two. Okay, moving on. I have to wear eyeliner every single day. I don't know what it is, but I always need eyeliner in my waterline. And recently too, it's even gotten like tight lining for my upper lashes. I pretty much always have to have eyeliner there. And this has gone back for years and years and years. I have always been an eyeliner fanatic for whatever reason. I have to have eyeliner in my waterline. So I don't know, I'm just kind of weird that way. I always have to have my eyeliner. I feel like this is a step that so many people could skip. But again, kind of what I wanted to do the two lists here. But again, if I'm talking about like the products that I'm going out in and all of that, I will always have my eyeliner on. So I chose up this eyeliner from Milk Makeup. This is in the shade CEO. It's what I have on my waterline today. It's just a nice brown eyeliner. I like brown. Um, I used to wear blue eyeliner a ton, especially in college. Maybelline had a blue eyeliner. I would wear it all the time. Uh, then I went to black for a while, but now I'm really into brown. So this one from Milk Makeup, it glides on super easily. It stays on. It's super long wearing. I think it's fantastic. So that is the eyeliner that I chose, product number three. I also decided to go with a mascara because, um, again, I, I don't do any eyeshadow for this one. Like I said, I can use the Marc Jacobs as a matte eyeshadow as well. Um, but there's sometimes, and especially now, I've been saying, you know, I have eyeshadow palette fatigue and, and all that. I've been doing so many one eyeshadow looks here recently um but when I was thinking about it I was like you know what there's a few other products that I'd rather go with and I like to have a really nice base like really nice face makeup and then you know like eyes are just kind of like so-so for me I'm not the most creative person either so like let's just take away eyeshadow so I decided to go with a mascara because I do think mascara helps kind of like complete the eye look um you know kind of help open the eyes a little bit and all that I think mascara is really nice for that so I chose out my hourglass caution mascara I believe this is probably my most used mascara and the one that I've gone through a bunch of. I get a lot of minis if I see them as like a point perk or a 100 um, bonus points at Sephora. I've, I always tend to grab the Hourglass Mini if I see that and I use them up because I feel like it looks so nice. It makes my, my lashes nice and long. Uh, it doesn't transfer or smudge, which I think is super important. It truly is just one of my favorite mascaras. So that is the fourth item that I chose for list number one. And then I decided that I'm going to put a highlighter in here. I went back and forth on this one for sure because I was like, oh, is a highlight like super important? But like I mentioned, I do have dry skin. And a lot of times, again, when I'm thinking about those times with friends, like after a night out, we're going for breakfast, we're driving home, I tend to always put my highlighter on. I feel like, again, it just kind of like brightens up my face and makes me look a little bit more glowy. And as someone who is dry and actually flaking off skin in this video, Something about having a good like beaming highlighter, it just, I don't know, it gives me a little extra zazz, a little extra boost if you will. So I wanted to include a highlight in here and of course, obviously, let's all say it together. Uh, I chose out my highlighter with Ofra Cosmetics. This is the March Beauty Word highlighter, uh, but I did like to choose this one too because you do have two different options in here. 
So you have two slices of Pillow Talk and two slices of Star Island, my top two favorite highlighters from Ofra. And also, so not only can this be used as a highlight, I could also use this as an eyeshadow and I would have a, more of a pinky option and more of a gold option with a Star Island. So I could either just wear those, I could do a, a shimmer, like an all over shimmer type look, which is really pretty. I could pair it with the Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is also a really beautiful inner corner highlight and also brow bone highlight. And it sounds weird, but I do those steps a, a ton of times too even if I'm having like a less makeup day I love doing that again I feel like it brightens up the eye look I, I just think that it's beautiful so I have technically two different highlighters in here nice little compact nice little mirror on it but I can have highlighter I can have eyeshadow brow bone highlight inner corner highlight all with this highlighter so I think that's pretty fantastic. My highlighter and my lip set with Ofra is available through the end of August, which I'm very excited about. If you haven't seen yet, I was able to do a little collaboration with some Ofra favorites. Uh, and so, of course, this highlight had to be mentioned. But also, I get several different uses out of it, and I feel like that would really tie my whole makeup look together. Like, I have a few face products, I have some eye products, and I feel like I, I would get a full look. Like, I've gone out with this look um the, like i'm kind of sad that i couldn't do setting spray but you know that's a little bit of an extra step in all of that and i feel like i'd be really confident wearing these five products together so that is my first list let me know what you thought about it but i'm also going to pop over to a second list because otherwise this video would be too short and you'd be like what am i on samantha march's channel this video is not long enough so i decided to give you a little bonus here and let's talk about uh, five more products that I would add but with a little twist here. So for this list, this is where I try to get a little bit creative with my collection and look and see if there are different palettes that I can use different items for and all of that. Uh, so I wanted to kind of challenge myself a little bit to be cutthroat and here's where we're getting a little bit more creative. So I did keep the same concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Again, no primer, and no foundation, no powder. Um, still don't feel like I'm going to be powder, hello. Uh, but I did want to keep in my foundation. But then when I was thinking, I was like, okay, so I love face palettes. I have a lot of face palettes. What's a face palette that would have a bronzer, maybe a blush, a highlighter? What could we do here? So I pulled out on my palettes and I was looking at them. And I decided to go with this one here from Becca Cosmetics. This is such a nice face palette. This was the Apreski Glow face palette. It came out around holidays, maybe two years ago, three years ago. I can't quite remember for sure. But this is a beautiful palette. Beautiful packaging, beautiful mirror to do my makeup in, which I think is great. But have a beautiful beautiful bronzer and also a beautiful blush. Those are Winterberry and Bronzed Bondi. And then you have four different highlighters here. So I'm still getting highlights. Uh, opal and Rose Quartz are what I would wear the most on my skin tone for an actual highlight. But you could also use these uh, for eyeshadows, um, shimmer, um, not shimmer, uh, you know what I'm saying, brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight, and all of that. Like there's just a lot of options here. I mean, you could do the same with these. Like there's a lot of different options that you can get in here, but I was really trying to find a face palette with a bronzer a blush and a highlight and if I can use some of it as extras that's great so that's a palette that is knocking out a bunch of different items and then I was like let's pick an eyeshadow palette too because why not so I grabbed a few palettes right away that I thought maybe would be good for this one but I wanted something a little bit bigger which I don't have a lot of big palettes in my collection anymore I've decluttered a lot of them I'm more into smaller palettes but I try to find a few of my larger ones and just ones that I felt like I would reach for a lot that have a lot of like neutrals a lot of mattes in there that I love so much uh, and I had I got it down to three at one point and I was like you know what it's gonna be the Violet Voss Holy Grail I really like this eyeshadow palette you've seen this pop up in in random videos here and there throughout my uh, channel and I just think it's a great palette so larger palette again it has a nice mirror in it but there are so many neutral mattes in here which I think is beautiful there's a bunch of different shimmers so in um, conjunction with my highlight palette I would have a whole bunch of shimmers in here there's a lot of browns which is totally me um, if just something very simple and easy could be a, you know a one brown shimmer Shadow, just like I was talking about with the bronzer I love to do brown smoky eyes with this palette I think it's beautiful but you also have some really nice cranberries in here you have lighter tones you have some gold and an orange I also love doing orange with green eyes uh, I think that it's beautiful and I tend to go into that orange so often when I reach for this palette but it just has so much of what I would use and I would reach for on a daily basis I also had pulled out the Sigma Beauty Bird palette, which was is beautiful and actually has highlights in there too. But there's so many colorful shades in there that I 
don't tend to reach for a lot. So I'm thinking if I can only keep one eyeshadow palette at this point, you know, out of the five that I'm choosing, I'm going to give it to the Violet Boss Holy Grail palette. I think that it's a really nice palette. It's really easy for me to work with and uh, I just really enjoy it. Uh, I also did want to keep the mascara. So we have the Hourglass Caution Mascara here. And then I was looking over my list and I was like, hmm. What should I do? What should I do? Should I do a setting spray? Hmm, how should I how should I do this? And I decided to go with a lip liner. I was trying to decide about lipstick. Uh, I knew I didn't want a gloss because I don't go for a gloss every day. Like, a, a, just a nice lipstick was what I wanted to go with. But I thought a lip liner would be really good because I can kind of play around with this a little bit. Emily mentioned in her video that, like, skincare and, like, lip balms and, and stuff like that, like, that's not included in this five. Like, we'll just say that they're always there type thing. Um, but even uh, if I could do a lip balm, if I could just, like, lightly line and fill in my lips with this and a little bit of balm, like, that could create a pretty look. Uh, but uh, this one, I don't even know if I said, this is MAC Whirl. Truly one of my favorite eyeliners. It's such, like, a my lips but better type of lip liner and again i can line my lips with it i can fill my lips in completely and it's just such a nice lip liner so even though i really wanted to go with a lipstick hey i felt like it was kind of really daunting to pick one out of all of them like out of you know all of my lipsticks like that was really hard and i thought lip liner because it kind of gives me a, a little bit more options there if you will especially if I'm pairing it with a balm uh, so that's how I decided to go with it and I chose a MAC Whirl because it's one of my OG shades it's the first product I ever purchased from MAC uh, I have multiple of my world lip liners because I just love the shade so much and I just thought it would be a nice addition to this list of five but after that that's going to wrap it up for today's video I gave you two different lists of if I could only keep five makeup products. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought. <laughs> I'd love to know. Again, make sure to check out Emily's video because uh, this was such a fun idea. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.